Mountain Dew, Voodoo, version three, uh, review. Hello there, Above Average fam, Above Average Cody here, coming at you with another Saturday energy drink review. It's more of a soda review this week, but uh, obviously we have the limited edition 2021 Mountain Dew Voodoo. This is a flavor they come out with every year around Halloween. It's September. They come out with it a month early, and then they do it up to uh, Halloween. Obviously, the spooky can is what uh, signifies that. But yeah, we're going to get into what this flavor tastes like. It is a mystery flavor, and they've done a different one every year. Uh, this is the third installment of it, I do believe. So they did it in 2019, the first version, 2020 and 2021, and then today, obviously, the 2021 is the one we will be reviewing. If by some chance this is your first drink review here, guys, be sure to go down below and subscribe. We do them every Saturday along with a ton of other content on the channel, and uh, be sure to leave a like while you are down there, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think this year's voodoo tastes like. Now, year one, I believe, was like um, candy corn or something, supposedly, but it tasted like Skittles. The year two... Tastes like Skittles, I swear. Year one and year two were the same. Uh, I was told they weren't. Mountain Dew says they were not, but they tasted like it to me. And now, here is the third one. And of course, they come in 12 packs. Here's what the 12 pack looks like. You're not asking or wondering, but uh, I have one right here next to me. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the same as the can. You guys didn't have to see that, but I figure we will go all out and show the 12 pack, which is obviously still full of cans. I haven't tried this yet, guys. This is the first one I will be trying. It is ice cold, so it will be accurate. And just really quick, in energy drink reviews, we normally go over what's in the drink and how it feels. But I'll just briefly tell you, uh, 44 carbs for 44 grams of sugar. It's soda, guys. Nothing crazy there. 160 calories in one single can. And obviously... It's Mountain Dew, guys. It's soda. It's going to be sweet. Uh, not normally like the uh, sugar-free energy drinks we normally do here. But uh, like I said, we got to step out of the step out of the the, uh, the engagement once in a while to mix it up. And uh, I love Mountain Dew. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you should know I love Mountain Dew. So uh, we're going to see how this voodoo tastes. Smells like... Wow. It, it smells like Skittles, guys. I'm telling you. It's going to taste like the same flavor. But uh, we'll find out right now. Wow. Wow, it literally tastes like liquid candy. That is one of the sweetest tasting Mountain Dews. And Mountain Dew tastes sweet, but uh, it's very good. Again, you guys know I love my sweet drinks. All right, guys, literally tastes like candy. And here is how I will describe it to you. Y you're going to love this. It is literally liquid Starburst. Liquid because it's a liquid, it's soda. But it tastes like Starburst with the aftertaste of Skittles. I can't explain any better than that. And let me tell you, that has me excited. If you guys have not tried this, please go try it. It's literally so... Oh, dude, no. Liquid pink Starburst. It tastes like pink Starburst with the aftertaste of Skittles. This is exciting. This is, this is the best one yet. This is so good. And I don't know if there's like actually a name for the flavor that they want you to guess. But let me tell you. Pink Starburst followed by an aftertaste of Skittles. That is the most accurate thing ever. And uh, I feel it's only fair to give this thing a number review. But uh, I'm, oh, I'm going 10 out of 10. If you like sweet drinks and candy and arguably the best Starburst of all time, the pink one, this is art. Th this is fantastic, guys. This this blows every other... Okay, that's a bit, bit of an insane proclamation. But this blows every other Mountain Dew out of the water. Obviously, it is limited edition... Uh, generally, I think they start to fizzle out around Halloween time, so you're probably going to want to get it by then to try. But, dude, this is such a good flavor. I So, I have, I've I've been trying not to drink a lot of soda. I really have not. Um, especially with... I'm trying to cut back on calories a little bit. I'm trying to eat a little healthier and uh, trying to get a little leaner. So, soda's not really in it for me. But I might stockpile a few of these. And I raved about the new Baja flavors that came out with this past summer. This is even better, guys, if you like sweet drinks. If you're not big on candy and sweetness, it's not exactly going to be as good to you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't think they do a sugar-free of this one. But, dude, Mountain Dew is killing it. This flavor is so good, dude. I mean, they killed it with the summer flavors, the, the two Bajas, Baja Punch and Baja. I don't remember the other one. Amazing. Killed it. I thought they were the greatest new flavors I've ever seen, even though they were limited edition. And, dude, this is even better. This is fantastic. I hope they keep this around longer than just like a month or two because I might I might have to stockpile a couple 12 packs because again, I'm not drinking much soda. I don't drink much soda anymore, um, but 
this stuff's good, guys. This stuff's very good, and a can of it once in a while may be absolutely killer to have around the house, around the gaming setup. I do have a mini fridge right next to me here. I might have to keep it stocked with some of this, guys. It is phenomenal. So yeah, guys, the Mountain Dew Voodoo 2021. I, dude, I may have to just buy more of this. Literally, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. So it tastes like pink starburst with the aftertaste of Skittles. And I'm going to be honest, guys, let me know down below when you try it, if you agree with that statement. But literally, ice cold, I don't think there's a better description for it. I really don't. So hopefully you guys agree with my flavor review of the Mountain Dew Voodoo 2021. It's very good. It's very sweet. It literally tastes like you're chewing on a Starburst without all the chewing. But uh, yeah, guys, it's pretty phenomenal. Anyways, I sound like a broken record here. So we'll wrap up this short review. I was just super excited to do the Mountain Dew Voodoo. And uh, I think you guys will love it. If you're into that Starburst, Skittles, fruity candy, you are going to love it. 10 out of 10. That wraps it up, guys. Once again, be sure to go down below and subscribe. Let's run that number up. We're trying to make a push up to 1,100. I'm really excited to hit that 1.1 number. So uh, if you guys want to help me out with that. And while you're down there, leave a like on this video. And again, leave a comment. I want you guys to let me know if you agree or disagree with my uh, flavor description of this mystery flavor, Voodoo. And uh, if you disagree, let me know what you think it tastes like. I love to have a conversation about it down in the comments. And that is all she wrote, guys. And yeah, we'll be back next Saturday with another drink review. Or if you're in here in between, we'll do Pokemon card openings, gaming videos, live streams, all the good stuff, guys. That's all she wrote. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.